publishes successfully continuous diplomatic efforts on non-recognition of Abkhazia and South Ossetia, and the whole civilized world condemns the occupation of Georgian territories by Russia. This was the keynote of a press conference in Baku, held by the ambassador of Georgia, Temraz Sharashenitze, on the fourth anniversary of the war that happened in August 2008. Russia's armed forces have occupied 20% of Georgian territories and are still in Georgia. Russia has created two military bases in these areas and deployed there more than 10,000 troops, he said. According to the ambassador, the reason for the war against Georgia was an independent foreign policy of Tbilisi and its desire to fully integrate with the European and Euro-Atlantic area. Despite the serious challenges, Georgia did not change its course in foreign policy. At the last NATO summit in Chicago, the participants supported Georgia's admission to the alliance and a two-year program was adopted for this purpose. However, Georgia intends to normalize the relations with Russia. It unilaterally abolished visa regime for Russian citizens and consented to the entry of Russia into the World Trade Organization. However, Russia has done nothing in return. The Georgian ambassador also mentioned the relief aid and energy support provided to Georgia by Azerbaijan in August 2008. Azerbaijan has recently supported at the General Assembly a resolution on the protection of Georgia's internally displaced persons. Georgia, on its part, was among those countries which did not recognize the so-called presidential elections in Nagorno-Karabakh.